from our voyage thus far. It's so good to have you on board. What a voyage we are going on. We have gone on hundreds of voyages, of which I have chronicled and journaled. Journal, which means I have tra kept track of important nuggets of truth and wisdom that we have learned from our voyages. We are about to go on a voyage that we have never gone on before, and we are going to use as our guideline the Holy Bible. And we learned in preparation for our journey last night that there is a name that we cannot travel without. We have traveled several of journeys, but never like this before. This name that we're going to take with us is the greatest name in the earth, in the heavens, in the universe, and beyond. It is the name of the Lord God, which is Jesus. And for a foundation of that name, we go to the Bible. In the Old Testament, the fifth book of the Old Testament, Deuteronomy. In 6 and 4, it tells us, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Not many gods, but one God. And that we are to love him with all of our heart, our might, and our soul. And that name that we are to love is the name of Jesus. We learn that at the name of Jesus, there is peace. When the storms will be coming on our journey, that there is peace, that the Jesus, when we speak his name, gives us peace. And every time he does something for you, gives you peace, heals you, or does something for you, you need to have your mom or dad or whoever buy you a journey like I have. And as you learn things, you write it down in that journal. And you keep track of it. Because once you keep track and you remember these things, our minds sometimes forget. But when we go back and we look in our journal of life, we've had many experiences. I, my mateys, have had a many. And I have learned that the name of Jesus now is more precious than any gold or silver that we have come across thus far. You will be wise, and you someday will be a captain if you will learn from the journey of life that you travel. Keep track of these blessings and watch God do great things. I will be back again next week to review what we discussed discovered in the in the following journal of the journeys of hate. May God bless you and have a safe trip and keep an eye open for that land of hate. Goodbye and may the Lord bless you.